The Gift of Hope is a program actually that um, started here at Fertility and Women's Health Center and basically what it is is it's um, allowing one um, infertility couple the uh, advantage of being able to do an IVF or an in vitro fertilization cycle with no financial burden. And um, this year I'm excited to say that I actually am going to be the physician that is able to perform that procedure for the um, couple that actually has been chosen. My name is Shauna Cormier. Um, I'm 30 years old. We're from Karen Crow, Louisiana. Um, we've been married for eight years, um, been together for 15. Uh, we've been trying to have a baby for almost seven years. So it's been a long, long journey. Uh, we've done several um, treatments and obviously nothing has worked. So um, we're, I mean, we're very excited to have this opportunity. An in vitro fertilization cycle is basically where we go ahead and give um, the female patient actually some fertility medications to then go ahead and produce eggs and she's gonna go ahead and produce several eggs during that cycle of taking the fertility medication. Afterwards, we're then gonna harvest those eggs and mix them with her husband, Colby's sperm. We're gonna be able to create embryos in the lab environment and then be able to select embryos to put back into the uterine cavity. And then hopefully, obviously, have her be pregnant in a couple of weeks' time. The process for Gift of Hope actually is committee-based, and so we this year had an overwhelming number of patients apply. There was approximately 50 applicants that actually went through the process of um, applying online through our website um, and basically giving us information, not only demographical information, but medical history information, as well as writing letters as why, to why they wanted to go ahead and actually have an in vitro fertilization cycle performed. When you're growing up and you get married, you never imagine having to go through all this. I mean, it's, whew, it's so emotional and it makes me want to cry now. <laughs> um, it's very emotional, very. Shauna is probably one of the most caring, loving people I know. Uh, she's got a lot of fight in her. She doesn't give up very easily. She knows, you know, what she wants and she do, she'll do anything in her power to achieve, you know, her goal. Probably one of the strongest people I know. Going through this experience with my wife, it's, it's been tough. Uh, it's been a, a true roller coaster of a ride. Uh, you know, finding out, you know, my brother and them recently had a baby, and I think that really tore me apart just knowing you know, they had something that I couldn't put money on, you know. I, it's not something I could go out and buy. It's all the money in the world wouldn't, isn't going to help me. You know, it's, it's a gift. Every couple that comes through um, and applies for the gift of hope is a deserving couple. And then unfortunately, we aren't able to go ahead and actually provide each one of those couples with an IVF cycle free of charge. Um, so we do have a committee that is uh, able to then go ahead and select those couples. We learned about the gift of hope through our fertility um, doctor. Um, we started seeing him about a year ago. Uh, we actually applied to the gift of hope before we started seeing him. Uh, we heard about it through friends and I mean it's on his website and whatnot. So um, we decided to give it a shot and try and we wrote a letter and applied for it and last year unfortunately we didn't win but um, we tried it again and we won this year and we're ecstatic. <laughs> oh my gosh it was I can't even explain to you what it felt like. <laughs> oh cried. <laughs> I was speechless. Uh, I, right after I got, I got off the phone with Dr. Stormer and I called Kobe I, I was Whew, it, I was speechless. <laughs> what I would recommend to any patients that are um, either infertile or have that diagnosis of infertility is to basically say to them, you know, that there is help available, that there are avenues for those patients to go ahead and pursue. And if nothing else, they should at least go ahead and talk with their um, OBGYN physician or their family physician, and then maybe even potentially pursue some infertility treatment. Don't give up. I mean, just don't. <laughs> Don't give up. It's it's hard to you know to go to get through it, but just pick yourself up, keep your head up, keep on going, <laughs> keep on going.